Decisions, decisions. It is time now that it's February to start talking about first hollow stem and moving cattle from wheat. Joining us now is Roger Saws from Ag Economics. And Roger, you and the team have put out a new fact sheet to kind of help talk about this process and, and make some decisions. Yes, uh, so we updated uh, a uh, fact sheet, uh, Ag Ec uh, 241, which is graze out versus uh, harvesting for grain. And it talks about the, uh, the possibilities of a uh, graze out situation versus uh, harvesting for grain, a, a true dual purpose uh, wheat production system. And so we, we really uh, rely a great deal on partial budgeting. And that helps, I think, the producer to weigh, say, the pros and cons of a plan A versus the plan B. And it's really important to collect the information that's pertinent to that decision making process and classify the impacts from those potential outcomes. So it, it does a really a nice job of sort of clarifying the muddy water, so to speak, uh, and helping them uh, determine what is in their best financial interest. So this concept of partial budgeting, what is that and kind of give us a brief overview of how it works. Well, uh, essentially uh, you're comparing sort of the pros and cons, like I said, of uh, plan A versus plan B, and you're looking at the, the economic impacts or effects of those uh, particular courses of action. And so our fact sheet uh, discusses uh, typically, you know, the, the case of, you know, we, we would have uh, stalkers out on wheat, but we have uh, a certain number of producers that are thinking about, well, what about the possibility of grazing out, you know, uh, that wheat and selling those stalkers at a heavier weight? Is that in my best financial interest? How does that pencil out? And so this uh, fact sheet uh, sort of goes through that methodology. And so on the one hand, when you've got uh, grazing out wheat, yes, we'll have some increased revenues uh, from those heavier weight stockers, but we'll have some cost savings from not harvesting that wheat. And then on the other side of ledger, of course, we've got two sides of ledger here. So on the other side of ledger, we have a situation of, yes, we'll have some increased costs of carrying out those stockers for another, say, 45, 60 days. But the big whammy is, is that we won't have those uh, revenues or sales from uh, stockers ordinarily sold before um, first hollow stem and also the losses in um, from not harvesting wheat uh, and those sales there. So we weigh really the, the total economic impacts of, uh, of the each side of the ledger, so to speak, and see which side has the heavier weight. And that gives the producer, I think, some indication of what avenue to pursue. And then, um, so once again, it's really important for them to collect some good information uh, based on their uh, farm and, and uh, production records, and then also do a little price forecasting. But once again, it's, it does a really nice job, I think, of leading them to make the right decision at the right time. And there is a worksheet or a workbook that kind of goes along with this. So there's a blueprint for yes, you to follow. Yes, there is, yes. On the very back uh, page of that uh, publication, we do have a, a worksheet that you can go through the numbers and. You know, the methodology, I think, is, is fairly straightforward, but uh, once again, I think it, it does a really a nice job of uh, clarifying how that decision-making framework does uh, work for your benefit. And there's lots of factors that go into that. Of course, it's been a, it's been a challenging year in a lot of ways um, for forage. So these are, these are important things to consider, and this is the time of year to do it. Exactly. Okay, Roger, thank you so much for your time today. And if you want to check out this fact sheet and run the numbers for your operation, we have a link for you at sunup.okstate.edu.